accent. You just gotta learn to appreciate the quality of noodles on the barbie. Oh my god. Yeah, it's hard to not catch knives because you see something falling and it's just a natural reaction to try and catch it. Exactly, Bev's cuts finger off. Ah, uh, not again. Damn it. Damn it, damn it. I have never been close to cutting my finger off. Joel, on the other hand, actually nearly did, because he was a stupid little apprentice, and they decided to race each other to bone out a pork belly, and he slipped. He got his thumb right Oof. in there. It was, it was bad. Feels like a decent fish. Damn it, now I can't go noodling because I don't go to thumb because I forgot. <laughs> I accidentally cut it off while I was doing a pork belly. I guess I better learn to appreciate pork bellies, mate. <laughs> don't say pork belly. Crikey, that looks like a delicious pork belly over there, mate. I'm one of those guys that really can appreciate a pork belly. I wouldn't want to eat that pork belly, mate. It's got a lot of blood on it, mate. I can appreciate a pork belly that doesn't have a lot of blood on it, mate. Accents are too easy, guys. Too easy. Stick with boomerangs. <laughs> guys, I wonder if Bev's is going to come back on tonight. She's probably checking on Joel's finger, mate. Seeing if he's still got the old finger. Bebs is a lady who likes to appreciate a man with a thumb, mate. Oh yeah, she's definitely pissed herself. Which is hot. Some guys are into that. Is this a, uh, it looked like it was a, a carp. The neighbors are going to think that somebody's attacking me. They're going to come over and just be like, are you okay, honey? Crocky, mate. Okay, guys, that's a red-tailed catfish. We're going we're gonna to let that one go. Oh, fuck. He, that one got off. That sucked. <clears throat> it's not my fault. I can't help it. I'm funny. What the fuck is it? Is it a Paku? Yay, Bev's came back. Yay. I think that's a Paku. Ooh. You found a way for me to take care of the neighbor's dog? Tell me more. I'm probably lucky Joel's not home yet. He was meant to be home early today as well. You know, I can't tell because I think there is. I could have swore I caught an albino catfish. But as far as the arapaima, I don't think there is. <laughs> but I could have swore I caught an albino uh, red tail. Everything was really, really white on it. Like pink fins. <laughs> this is what's frustrating. Just get this fucking fish in here so we can go fishing. I think it'd be kind of cool if they put like an albino bass in every lake. Like one, you know what I mean? There's like 20,000 fish in most of those big lakes that we were just fishing on, I think. You know, but like put like one albino in there. That'd be kind of cool. I was looking at pictures of uh, spotted, I mean, uh, piebald catfish the other day. They look kind of cool. This is what fucking drives me nuts. Like this fish being like five feet out there and just won't come in. Smiley. Oh my god, dude. We caught a, uh, we caught a, uh, a boss fish. A boss fish, uh, Paku. Might. Oh, dude, I yes. almost forgot. I, uh, fun fact, I almost like let that dude go because I, I thought I had a better fish on. Yay. Alright, guys, I gotta.